This video is brought to you by 101figurine.ro Check out 101figurine.ro to see a large assortment of action figures and statues from your favorite universes. Hello and welcome, my name is Lazar and today we got another figure review and unboxing. On the table I got the NECA Pacific Rim Knifehead 3.0. Yes, this is the third iteration of this specific figure, it's a Kaiju, I think it's a category 3, but I might be wrong on this one. So as you can see, here's the box, you can see some details on the front, back and to the sides, not too much. And I'm also gonna show you the top and the bottom as well, but it's uh, mostly legal mumbo jumbo. And on the top you get this nice window, so if you wanna check out the interior, you can do that if you so desire so like I said on the back nothing really all that special I'm gonna get a little knife then we're gonna cut this bad boy open you got two pieces of tape on top one on each side there we go now the figure should be free of course we're gonna have to undo the inner uh, inner zip ties as well they put a lot of those on, unfortunately sometimes it's a little bit difficult and also my uh, frame as you can see here is not exactly big, so I'm gonna try to give you the best uh, overall angle that I can. There we go. Now come out, come out, come to daddy, there we go, almost got it out, it's a little bit caught there on the box. You can use this as a background if you so desire, although I'm getting the feeling it wasn't really meant to be used like that. There we go, so this is knife head in the box. He doesn't come with any accessories. Now if you flip him over, you will see you got one, two, three, four, five. Five zip ties I gotta undo. There we go. And for the magic of video editing, now he's on the third table free of his bindings. Pretty good sculpt there. Okay, it's pretty accurate to the original. NECA does have access to the digital files used in the creation of these monsters. The Skyju, to be more specific. Now I want to give you an even closer look at the actual sculpt and at the paint tab. Like I said, this is the third iteration of Knifehead. The initial one was rather small. It didn't really fit into scale with the rest of the Jaegers. Okay, he just was too small. The second one is this one, but it's a battle damage version. By and by battle man damage means that it's got a little bit more paint on it. Okay, no difference in the actual sculpt itself. And this is the third version, okay? This is also known as Clean Knife Head. Pretty good sculpt there on the back. I'm liking the paint apps. Again, it's very accurate to the original. My only gripe with it is the fact that that uh, yellow is not really luminescent like it was in the movie. Let's get into articulation. Now, for um, Knife Head 2.0 and Knife Head 3.0, you see uh, we have improved head articulation. Knife Head 2.0 didn't really have all that much uh, swivel at the head. It's attached on a ball joint as you can probably tell and you also have uh, jaw articulation, it's on a hinge and you also have tongue, uh, I'm not sure I'm gonna call it articulation but NECA did confirm you can pull out this tongue and this is why I'm desperately trying to get the tongue out. I think I got it, almost, there we go, yeah, yeah. So the tongue comes out if you wanna make him look a little bit more menacing, a little bit more mean and again you just Put it back inside if you want to close the jaw completely, you can do that as well. Now let's get into arm articulation, it's rather limited, it's a pinned hinge, which is pretty much standard for NECA at this point. So you get the swivel, it can bend about a 90 degree, but if you have a look here, you'll see that the sculpt impedes that bend a little bit. Unfortunately, not the same story at the elbow. The elbow is again is a pinned hinge, but this is all the range of motion you're gonna get. I don't know if that it's even a 30 degree. Again, the sculpt really impedes the process. You get the swivel with no problem at all, but if the pin was a little bit more outright, then we would have get uh, we, we would have gotten a better bend. As for the hands themselves, the claws, they're on a ball peg. So you get a little bit of wiggle and the swivel as well. And pretty much the same case as uh, the left side in the case of the right side. Moving down to the torso, we do have additional hands because it's a kaiju and these are attached to the body on pinned hinges. Let me see if I can show you the swivel on this one. There we go. So you do get a swivel and a bit of a bend to them as well. As for the hands themselves, for the little arms, they are attached on ball joints. So you're gonna get a swivel and not so much wiggle action, sadly. Okay, that's about all you're gonna get. And I did use the blow dryer on them to soften them up a little bit. Again, not a great range of motion, not a lot of great articulation simply because the sculpt is so bulky in the case of this figure. Moving down to the waist area, you will see that the waist uh, does feature a ball joint, so you get a little bit of up and down, like so. A little bit of side to side as well. Pretty good the uh, waist articulation all in all considered, and you get the swivel a full 360 for the swivel, as you can see. 
Moving down to the legs area, the two legs are attached to the body on uh, ball joints, okay? I thought initially these are pinned hinges, but no, they're ball pegs. So you get a pretty nice back kick, like so. Again, n uh, you don't really get impeded articulation in the case of the legs, they move just fine. And they uh, do do a, a decent job at securing the figure in place for posing. The knees are on a pinned hinge, so you get a very small 30-40 degree bend and the swivel as well. As for the actual feet themselves, they're on ball pegs. Initially, again, I thought they were uh, pinned hinges, but they're ball pegs. Pretty much the same case in the left foot as well. And the final point of articulation will be in the tail. Now this is a bendy wire tail, so you can bend it any way shape you want. I wouldn't really recommend you overuse this because if the wire inside snaps, then well, <laughs> you're all done with the tail for the most part. And that's gonna do it uh, for the review of Knifehead 3.0. Out of all the knife heads currently available, from my point of view, this is absolutely the best. And you can also couple him with an Ultimate Edition Gypsy Danger if you wanna reenact some poses from the movie. That's gonna do it for me. I'm gonna thank you guys for watching. If you got any feedback, please let us know in the comment section down below. And I will see you again next time. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Acest video v-a fost adus de către 101figurine.ro Intră și tu acum pe 101figurine.ro pentru a vizualiza o multitudine de statuete și figurine din universurile tale preferate.